What is going on, Bear Rudy Nation? The MK floodgates have opened for MKX. So I gotta make some content for you guys, like a lot of you guys have been asking. And like how I started off MKX, I wanna go through the tutorial mode because I feel like this is gonna help a lot of y'all. Uh, it's gonna help those of you who don't have the next gen systems yet, or those of you who are on the fence of getting MK. And uh, those of you who actually, like, I have, I have a few execution tips that are actually really good to cover. Uh, while playing through this mode. This is something that uh, I haven't seen too many people cover and uh, make a lot of videos up, especially even showing off the tutorial mode because I feel like they did a really good job with it. So, of course, we're going to start off with our basic movement training. We're going to step forward and back. God damn, Ed Boon, you got to show us this shit again. Um, but, you know, there have been a lot of new mechanics that have been added ever since MK9, and uh, there's a lot of stuff that I want to show, and this is perfect because this is talking about the energy and the new stamina bar. So dashing backwards, running, and using breakers all will use up your energy bar. So dashing forward, uh, dashing back, you guys can notice that it takes out one bar. And here is where I want to help you guys out with executing a run. So a lot of characters in this game, I think uh, Cassie Gage, uh, Reptile, quite a few others are going to have uh, runs in mid combos. So a lot of people have been having troubles, you know, executing this properly. And the best way to do this is actually pressing forward and then forward and R2 at the same time. Uh, instead of doing it forward, forward, R2, press forward and forward, R2 at the same time. And you'll get a clean run run animation. So that should actually help you guys quite a bit, um, regardless if you have the game or not. That's just something that's going to make you your run canceling and combos that much easier, I promise you. Um, so basic attack training, of course, is front punch. Uh, we got that back punch. Back punches are usually slower, but do more damage. Um, front kick and back kick. You know, it's good. It's a pretty much a four button fighter and everyone's got the universal sweep like in every MK game with a back, back, uh, back punch. Uh, and of course my favorite, the uppercut, um, there's the front kick, front punch, just so you guys know, uh, front kick and front punch in the air usually, usually we'll do the same exact thing. Um, and we'll switch off, we'll put them into a juggled state. So, mid attacks. Target various locations of the body and can be blocked by either standing or crouching. So, uh, mid attacks are usually not, you know, they don't really have a mix up involved. If I crouch, I'll, I'll block it. If I stand, I'll block it. That's just the nature of mid attacks. So, low attacks, of course, we'll have to just block this bitch low. And um, here you go. Here's overhead attacks, which um, only be blocked up. Uh, Standing, so I'll hit him if I do that. You know, I was walking. Uh, Scorpion actually has another another overhead, which is forward triangle. It doesn't count if that's all I want me to do. But, um, there you go. So, th block through consecutive attacks. Alright, let me see. I'm sure. Oh, my blocking skills. What you got, Sub Zero? What you got? Oh, you like them reactions? Come on, baby. Oh, oh, look at that, guys. I am a god at blocking. No, I'm not. Uh, okay, learn what you have. Okay. Use what you have learned to defeat Sub-Zero. Can I defeat him, guys? Oh, no, I can't defeat him. Man, I don't even have a variation on this. Oh, man, this is, some, this is some shit right now. Okay, attack with a low attack. Attack with an overhead attack. Ooh, give him that MK1. Alright. Sorry, I just wanted to make that fast. So Sub-Zero has been defeated. After knocking your corner into the air, you can hit him again before they land. Of course, this is a juggle combo. And of course, combo spelled with a K. God damn it, dude. Uh, so, uh, what do they want? Oh yeah, they want this. They want this. Back, back, okay, come on, do it. There you go. <laughs> uh, execute the juggle combo. So we call it the uppercut. So actually, a lot of characters in this game are gonna have um. Oh, a lot of characters in this game are gonna have a it, mid combo. You're actually gonna do a neutral jump into your attack. Um, it's just how you maximize combos with certain characters. So get used to doing neutral jumps. Uh, certain buttons, when pressed in correct order, will execute a chain of attacks. These are called combo attacks. Thank you. I always think it's Ed Boon talking to me when I do this for some reason. So, of course, combos very easy to dial up in this game. You know, there's not really timing. Um, you know, there's no real, like, links in this game, not too many of them at least, so... Everything's quite straightforward, and that's kind of why MK is so fun. So, execute a back throw. So, of course, you throw is L1, or you can actually press... Yeah, there you go, it actually shows me the alternate input, which is a square and X. So, if you guys are playing on a stick, 
It's exactly like it is in Street Fighter. It's pretty much the front and kick, uh, and front kick and back, uh, front punch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I grew tired of this. Uh, execute a forward throw. Easy enough. So that's very important, guys. I know this is a very basic ass tutorial, but throwing in the right direction. If you're in the corner, make sure you're throwing them back towards the corner. Um, you know, positioning is extremely important in this game. Um, so, like any fighter. But the corner in this game is just extremely scary against a lot of characters. So, so here you go. This is a new thing being added up. Uh, is uh, pretty much the meter burn. Uh, you have to do it quite fast, actually. Uh, my power. There you go. That's how you do it. And it pretty much sets the um, puts the opponent into like a, a reset phase. Oh my god, what am I doing? What? Can I not? Oh, there you go. Uh, it pretty much puts the opponent into like a reset position. I've only seen a few characters uh, utilize it really well so far a few top players utilizing it with certain characters so uh, what is it asking me for here so it wants it wants a forward throw what is this oh I did it there you go so throw training complete thank you Ed Boon each character has a unique attack that are executed by performing specific combinations directionally blah, 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 called special moves oh my god guys special moves so um <laughs> Of course, guys, this is the, the most basic shit here that we're doing. But when we get to the enhanced section, it'll actually be pretty good. So, a small amount of super meter is gained each time special moves executed or a normal attack connects with the opponent. Uh, notice the increase of meter when you perform a special move. So, they didn't even show us the, the meter bar. Oh, there you go, they did. Okay, never mind. I'm tripping. Um, so, here you go. So, here's EX moves. Uh, they were in MK9. They're pretty much the, you know, the buffed up versions of a special move. Now, here's another uh, tip to help you guys execute this stuff properly. So, the input is to press uh, X and R2 at the same time. But if you can, it will really help your execution to slightly press R2 before you press the X button. This will help you tremendously in bringing this out because... Um, just prioritize on pressing R2 before you press X, and I promise you, that your special moves will come out every goddamn time. This is another thing, I know it seems extremely basic, but it's another thing that uh, quite a few people have been having trouble uh, with with their execution to come out, you know, with their EX moves to come out every time. So, um, here's a meter burn version of it. Like, you can pretty much enhance an EX move by pressing R2 again. That's what I did there. And here is the X-ray move, which is L2 and R2 at the same time. Can I do it? There you go. Oh my god, get him, Scorpion. Get that blue man. Alright. I'm sorry, guys. I know everyone loves Scorpion and you see him a lot, but I'm part of the black and yellow army, man. That is that is my brother. Uh, so here's a, just a special move combo attack. So... Pretty much, you can cancel normals and do your, you know, your special move. And that's how you get simple off. Very, very simple. What is it asking me for here? So that's the, you know, like I was saying earlier, that's the fun part about MK. Like so everything's very easy and straightforward. Like the dial-up combos are quite easy to do. So here we go. This is where we get into that injustice ass, where Netherrealm thought, hey. This worked in Injustice, let's make it part of MK, where now we have uh, background stage interactables. So, you guys can see I can like jump off walls, I can jump tree branches, body sub-zero. <laughs> so, uh, they're actually quite useful, you know. There's not, I don't know, I, I haven't had any experience with any unblockable ones. There might be unblockable ones, but it's not, they're not as good as Injustice. Uh, but just mind you, they do take some stamina from you when you use them, so... So this is um, reversals, which work like just like uh, there you go. Reversals. There's just a small reversal window when you block something. You can also like here we go after we after a knockdown. You can, there's a reversal window. Where you can do something and it counts as a wake up attack. So that's kind of like your escape in the game is using the wake up attack. So. Okay, here's breakers. These have been introduced in what MK Deadly Alliance, I think it was. Oh, here, sorry. There you go. 
So Breaker is extremely simple to do. You just pretty much hold forward in R2 while you're getting hit. Oh no, can I not do it? Come on, baby. There you, go. you know, I actually prefer, yeah, pressing it seems like it works a lot better. Uh, block Breakers uh, allow you to trap opponents combo attack while blocking. Block Breakers cost two bars of super meter as well as a full bar of energy. So goddamn, you're using up a lot of sh resources to use a blo uh, block breaker, which is pretty much a... Um, this is pretty much a push block of the game. Uh, so, it's... Uh, honestly, I've been utilizing a little bit if I'm really afraid of someone's string, but that's just... It's a, it's a useful tool to have, I guess. So, here we go. This is where... This entire section here, if any of you guys have played Street Fighter, they've definitely been uh inspired by a uh, street fighter here street fighter across tekken and um you know especially the delayed wake up part so, so I, just want to press. I just press any of the buttons and specific buttons make you either roll forward i think just get up in place or uh roll back now delayed wake ups allow you to alter the time it takes to stand up after being knocked down so this is definitely really useful. Uh, this is going to be really useful later in the game where people have setups. Um, you know, timing setups after a specific knockdown. Uh, delayed wake up is definitely going to be really useful for that. So if I hold down, you'll notice Scorpion stays on the ground for a little bit. Oh, there you go. Scorpion just kind of stares at Sub Zero. Yo, dog, what you do to me? So that is um, the advanced training. Now, here comes the variations. Ladies and gentlemen, another new thing in MKX. Of course, you guys have probably been seeing enough gameplay of this. Um, so right now, Scorpion, we're gonna do this ninjutsu stuff. Variations are extremely interesting. You know, like there's there's some variations I really feel like are a lot weaker than others, but at the same time, it's like I can't judge because it's so early into the game's life lifespan, right? So uh, who knows? That's that's kind of gonna be the fun of this game is just seeing people pull out crazy variations, but. There you guys go. That is the tutorial mode for Mortal Kombat X. As uh, you know, the crazy, awful servers here are dying at, <laughs> dying for me. I don't know what is going on with NetherRealm with their insane amount of problems that are going on with this game. But Beirutian Nation, that was a look at the tutorial mode. I have homework for you, Nation, and that homework is: I want you guys to go to my Twitter. I want you guys to tweet at me uh, why I should play your character in um oh we won the faction war there you go Woo! we did it ladies and gentlemen this shit just happened on deck Lin Kuei, master race we got him we got him baby i mean i'm still all about that shi ryu but Lin Kuei, baby that's how we are so what i said earlier message me uh on twitter and i want to feature you know people from the nation um, you know, I'll feature you guys and dedicate a video to you guys, but you guys have to tweet at me and let me know why uh, Why I should play your character and who knows maybe we'll have an online session dedicated to you Anyways nation. I love you all very much and I'll see you all soon as the MK floodgates have opened Got that YouTube money